Okay, so in today's video, we'll be looking at copying and moving text in Vim. So the first operation we have is w, well, is y, not w, y, which works the same as d, um, in that uh, pressing y by itself does nothing. Uh, you have to give it a motion or a text object for it to do um, anything. So if I do a y, w, it will yank the word import and the, the space following it. Because um, if I do W, I go there. So if I do P, it will paste whatever I yanked. So um, P for, P for, well, it's technically put is the proper mnemonic, I believe. But um, paste or put doesn't matter. You press the P to paste or put. So if you see here, I'm on the, well, let me go to this line on F for from, if I do P, you can see it placed the word import in the space um, within the, the word from. So more specifically, it it uh, pasted the text after the cursor, after the character, well, yeah, after the cursor, after F. So if you do shift P, it will paste it before the, the cursor, before the character under the cursor. So those are the uh, the two methods of pasting or putting. So for Y, same rules as D, um, you can yank and any motion. So there I yanked till end of line. And if I put, it'll paste till end of line. If I do uh, say yank K, it will uh, yank the line I'm on and the one above. So if I, if I paste, it pastes those two lines, uh, et cetera, et cetera. The next, uh, there's some shortcuts uh, for Y. So uh, YY will yank the, the line, uh, including the end of line. Uh, just got to note that. So uh, if I do yank dollar sign and put, it doesn't paste the, doesn't, it doesn't yank the, the end of line as well. So when you paste, it doesn't add a new end of line. But if I say yank yank, why, why? I just, I call it yank yank. Uh, it, um, it adds an end of line. So keep that in mind. Uh, there's also shift Y, which is exactly the same as Y, Y. They both do the exact same thing. I'm not sure why they didn't make it do something more useful, but, um, oh well. Okay. So that's Y and that's P. Next we have, uh, GP. So if I, Say I yanked, yanked this line, right? And I come here and I put, uh, actually, let me yank more lines. So if I, uh, if I do this, if I paste an entirely, basically a copy of the paragraph, right? Uh, you saw what happened there. When you put or paste, um, your cursor is put uh, at the beginning of the put or paste. So even with shift P, uh, your cursor is put at the beginning of the, of the paste. But uh, if you do G P, it's put afterwards. So well, G P or G shift P, uh, your cursor is always, it does the same thing as P and shift P, but your cursor is put after the, the pasted text. So there's that. Next we have, uh, uh, bracket P, which, uh, in order to explain, I'll have to, let's see how we do this. So I'm going to uh, yank a word here, right? And if I indent this line a few times and I P, okay, it respects the indent there. If I shift P, okay. Uh, this was poorly planned. If I, let's see if I yank, yank that line. And if there's an indent here, I paste, it sort of ignored the indent because I'm on the, where I'm at now, like where the cursor's at, I'm on, well, there's an end of line that follows here. And when I paste with normal P, it sort of pastes off to the end of line on its own line. And if I shift P, it will just go to the beginning of the line and, and paste from there. But what if I just want to paste directly here? You can do close bracket P, and well, that went on a new line. Or you can do a close bracket shift P, and that 
respects the indent basically um, I I worded that way but um, hopefully you can see uh, what I mean so um, again uh, shift P will do what you wanted to do there and um, close bracket P will again ignore the end of line and paste it on its own line but that's mainly because I I yanked yanked so if I hopefully that that made sense uh, yeah so it's it's mainly for the yanks you do where you do like yank yank and it it, it includes the underline where it will um, where it'll break the the indenting uh, the most most of the time it behaves normally if you don't yank the the end of line but then also uh, if say this was indented and I yanked that line and I paste here uh, there's indenting but if I do say this it um, essentially removes the indent because on these lines the original indent level is is, is normal it's it's on column zero or column one so um, if you want to keep the indent on that level you would do um, square bracket P or square bracket shift P to you know in this case uh, or whatever floats your boat basically uh, next we have well just so there's close bracket P and then there's close bracket shift P but for close bracket shift P you could either do open bracket P or open bracket shift P so you have multiple options for that um, if you wish to do that so that's actually all the that's all the the actual operations uh, so in visual mode so if I'm in visual mode T yank you yank and yeah uh, <laughs> if you wanna you can't really did that paste anything oh in visual mode you can yank we'll just leave it at that and then to paste you do everything else in normal mode next we have um, registers which is more of a discussion than really well it does play uh, a role yeah so with yank and p you could do you could you could have given them counts so say 3p well if i yank this line i can paste one so i can paste the line three times uh, uh, even with yank, um, you can, you know, three yank yank, then you can paste. They can take uh, number arguments. They can also take register arguments. So we have the we have registers uh, from the all the alphabetical letters and all the alphanumeric letters. So by default, it's whatever you yank. So say this. If I come to the, the command line now and I type in reg, uh, you will see this. So essentially, these are all uh, register names and these are all uh, register, what's in the registers. And these are register, register types, which aren't really important. So these three are special registers. Uh, and then these are just uh, normal registers. Well, this one's also a special register. Uh, this is the default register, um, which is uh, the double quotes, is the special register. That's where all the stuff you yank and delete is stored by default. But we can store, let's say I wanted to store something in register A. Um, I would then do, uh, let's we want to yank this line into register A. I would do double quotes A, then perform whatever yank I wanted to do. So if I do, uh, register A paste it it pastes uh, uh, whatever's in register A so if I check the registers again you can do it either reg or registers you can see uh, okay well I think I I copied the same line so if I do if I copy that line if I copy the class neural network line uh, this is a bit more clear. Uh, you can see now uh, register A over here has class neural network and so does the default register because 
that just it's whatever was last you selected it, it does that so now we, we have stuff in register a and we can also say let's yank this word into register b uh, so double quotes b and then yank the word and then if we go to registers we should see in register b uh, we have the word conver convolutional over here so is how you can store multiple things um, without really losing much information so those are the registers so uh, I think I already just I showed you I can do register B paste um, or I can uh, double quotes a paste to paste whatever is in register a so that's it for oh, also the command uh, if I do reg and give it an argument, it'll show me what's in that register. So if, you, if I do reg and then say A, it will only show me what's in register A. And then with on the topic of registers, there's a bunch of registers. So if you do H um, registers, it should take you to the help page. And this short paragraph gives you a summary of what all the registers mean. <clears throat> so typically, um, like, well, these are all the special ones. Uh, hyphen small delete register whenever you you use x to delete a character it's stored in the the hyphen register and doesn't modify your your default register as far as i know uh, 26 uh, named registers these are the ones you will use the most the letters um, a to z and uppercase a to z uh, the read only registers and you you can have a look and and read at these well, and read what all these do um, but for the most part, uh, you shouldn't really, uh, well, not that you shouldn't, but you can read if you want to use them in fancy ways. For the most part, copy pasting doesn't really get that advanced, um, get, get too out of hand. But yeah, let me, let me just stop talking. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.